Hi, it's your pharmacist Sun Ki here. Aspirin. If you are being prescribed a low dose aspirin, a dosage anywhere from 75 milligram to 150 milligram daily, the doctor is giving you a blood thinner to prevent you from getting a blood clot that can lead to a stroke or a heart attack. Low dose aspirin is an antiplatelet. Platelets are blood cells that help blood clot. They are important when you have an injury. However, too much clotting in the blood can block the blood vessels in your heart to cause a heart attack, and block the blood vessels in your brain to cause a stroke. This is where low dose aspirin, acting as an antiplatelet, comes into play. This low dose aspirin is different from the higher dosage of aspirin that is used to treat headache or pain. Remember, although aspirin can be obtained without a script from the pharmacy, it is not something that you self-prescribe, because it can also lead to other serious problems like gastrointestinal ulcers, bleeding, and hemorrhage stroke, which is bleeding in the brain. The doctor will weigh out the risk and benefit and prescribe low dose aspirin to you on an individual case by case basis. Now, everything that I say of today is of general nature only. It does not replace the need to get advice from your local doctor or pharmacist. Before you start taking aspirin, make sure your doctor knows all the medical conditions that you have. This includes any kidney, liver problems. Asthma or other breathing problems, any bleeding problems like hemophilia, any gastritis, stomach or intestine ulcers. You need to tell your doctor all the medicines that you are currently taking as well. Let the doctor know if you are allergic to anything, if you are pregnant, intend to get pregnant, if you are breastfeeding or intend to breastfeed. How to take aspirin. So, if you are being prescribed aspirin, take it at the same time every day during or straight after food to reduce stomach upset. Take it with a glass of water to wash it down. If you have trouble remembering to take it every day, set an alarm to ring at the same time every day to remind yourself. Once you are prescribed a low dose aspirin daily, do not stop taking it without checking with your doctor. While you are on aspirin, if you are seeing a new doctor or dentist, or starting a new medication prescribed by a different doctor or a dentist, tell them that you are on aspirin. If you plan to have surgery that needs general anesthetic, aspirin needs to be stopped before surgery. Your doctor will advise you how long ahead of time to stop aspirin, and your doctor will restart you on aspirin again after the surgery. The doctor will let you know when to start it. Sometimes doctor can forget to restart people on aspirin. This is where it can cause a heart attack or stroke. If after a surgery your doctor did not mention anything about restarting aspirin, ask your doctor about that. Now I hope you have gotten value out of this. If you have, please click the like button down below and consider subscribing and turn on your notification button. Side effects. All medicines comes with side effects. Some side effects are severe and may need medical attention, but most of the side effects are minor and are not serious. Dizziness. Aspirin generally does not cause dizziness, drowsiness, or tiredness, but for some people, there is a very slight chance it does. So do not drive or operate machineries. Until you know how aspirin affects you, other potential side effects of aspirin are stomach upset like nausea, feeling sick, vomiting, heartburn, indigestion. To avoid these, remember to take it during food or straight after food. There are some enteric coated aspirin where the aspirin is designed to bypass your stomach and get dissolved and absorbed in your small intestine. This may reduce stomach irritation, but research has shown this type of aspirin has not been proven to lower the risk of bleeding in the stomach and intestine, because the risk of bleeding comes from the low platelet blood caused by the aspirin. 
Now, if the following happens to you, stop aspirin and go to the emergency department immediately. Note, these side effects are really rare, so don't get overwhelmed by it. Just know it so if you really experience it, you know how to deal with it. 1. Vomiting blood or material that looks like coffee grounds. 2. Bleeding from your back passage where you have sticky motions or bloody diarrhea. 3. Swelling of the face, lips or tongue which may make swallowing or breathing difficult. 4. Sudden or severe itching, skin rash and hives. 5. Asthma, wheezing or shortness of breath. 6. Pain or tightness in the chest. Now, if you are put on aspirin, it's a wake-up call. You need to have some lifestyle changes. What you eat and how much you eat is important. Reducing fat and salt intake is very important. Salt can cause high blood pressure. Salt, which is commonly known as sodium, the symbol is Na+, increases blood pressure and many food in the supermarket contains sodium. This includes your daily bread. So read the labels while you are purchasing your groceries to control how much salt you are taking. It's a good idea to remove table salt from your dining table. An adult body only needs around 1 to 2 grams of salt, which is 460 to 920 milligrams sodium per day to function. Licorice is also something that increases blood pressure, so avoid it. Now, why is reducing the blood pressure so important? Because high blood pressure and bad cholesterol in your blood, plus platelets in your blood, can cause a blood clot that can lead to a stroke or heart attack. Many people who are on aspirin, chances are they would have high blood pressure as well. So remember to take control of your blood pressure. Other ways to reduce your blood pressure, if you are a smoker, quit smoking. If you drink too much alcohol, stop it. If you need help stopping these, contact your doctor. There are medication out there and scientific proven methods to help you stop. Now, if you just have a heart attack or a stroke, speak to your doctor or cardiac rehabilitation team for advice on types of suitable exercises to begin. Follow your doctor's advice and slowly build up your activity. And remember, never hold your breath when lifting weights. Now tell me in the comments below, what lifestyle changes have you made or plan to make? And tell me what other videos can I make to help you improve your health? I hope this video has brought value to you. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification button. Besides a pharmacist, I'm also a singer, songwriter and an actress. I've moved all my entertainment videos on a new channel. If you are interested in letting me entertain you, I will put the link down below for you.